Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to this installment. Seven minutes in the morning. My name's Tom Rigsby, your host. Thank you for joining me this morning. Listen, whether you are watching live or watching on the replay, don't forget to drop your name in the comments. Say hi. Let me know that you're here. Like the video. Share the video. All of that helps. So this week we've been talking about uh, work that matters and we're going to get into how to find your work that matters today. That's uh, that's our topic today. Just excited to get here. It was, I, I mean, like right at 7 o'clock and I'm ready to punch it. I was sitting here waiting on you guys uh, to be able to get started. So, again, remember, while live or on the replay, leave your name in the comments. Let me know that you're here. If you're listening on your podcast catcher, iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, whatever works for you, you can also watch live. We're on Facebook every morning. Just go to TomRigsby.com slash Facebook. Get you to the right page. And if you're watching live and you might work better to listen to the podcast, you got all those other options available. All right. All right. So let's get into it. Uh, yeah. Hey, fellow coffee shop dude. So good morning, Eric. That, and uh, I'll give you this reminder at the end also. But yeah, we're doing the coffee shop show live this morning at uh, 9 o'clock, about two hours from now. Me and my good friend Eric will be coming to you live from Old Town Coffee. So if uh, that's something that you can join us for, that'd be awesome. All right, so yesterday I said I had four topics to cover in three days. I wasn't sure how I was going to do that. I figured it out just for you. <coughs> so here we go. See, even the birds are ready to hear this. Monday we talked about, in uh, honor of Labor Day, work that matters. Does your work move you toward your goal? Yesterday uh, we talked about does your work create value for other people. Those are the two things that kind of signify work that matters. And I want to talk to you about kind of a broader picture today of how to find work that matters. So... Uh, here we are. I broke it down into two parts. We'll cover two topics each day, and then we'll still have time for free coaching Friday. About that. All right. Part one today. Something you love and something you're good at. Now, if you take these two things together, they generally represent your passion. And that's only half of the equation, as would be indicated by part one and part two. But you, you need these two, but they're not the only two. So... Just because you find these, don't run off and start doing that, okay? Number one, something you love. And not necessarily something you love doing, right? Think about it this way. Let's say you love being around people and you're good at caring for people when they don't feel good, okay? Something in health care, right? There's a good option for you. but uh, Or it could be something that you love doing. I love... Uh, woodworking and I'm pretty good at it so maybe a cabinet shop maybe a carpenter something along those lines right but you have to take these first two things first if you don't love what you do then oh, I can't remember who said it now <laughs> if you love what you do you never work a day in your life right if you don't love what you're doing then you're just laboring, right? You're not really doing work that matters. Because remember, work that matters has to matter to you and to the world. If you don't love it, it doesn't matter to you, right? And we're all uniquely gifted, talented, and placed. Life's too short to spend our time doing work that we don't enjoy because there is work here that we enjoy. We are all destined to work, right? So there's no getting out of work. We might as well enjoy it. I believe that we're all gifted to do work that's going to make a difference that we can that we can enjoy doing. We can actually enjoy doing. So find that. But the second half of this is something that you're good at. This one, actually, for a lot of people, is the harder of the two. Because when you're good at something, you tend to be dismissive of how good you are at it. I know that sounds kind of weird. Let's let's do this. Um, let's say, all right, so I just had to think of something here. I don't know why, for whatever reason, I'm pretty good at remembering IP addresses, right? Those little numbers that make up the Internet, right? They just 
I don't know. Pretty good at remembering those. I remember them from 10 or 15 years ago. Don't know why. Just something that, that I can do. Well, it's not a big deal to me. It's just easy. So I tend to be dismissive of the value of being able to remember those. Right? Um, and that happens a lot. When something is easy for us, when we look at something and say, oh, we just need to do this and this. Turn that around and upside down. Okay, here's a great one. <laughs> I just said I'm pretty good at woodworking. The one thing I can't do is install crown molding. I can't make those miter cuts to go in the corner to save my life. Tried many times. <laughs> I won't even tell you. I won't even tell you. Maybe Vicky will get on one day and, and tell some stories about that. But for some people, that's easy. I just flip it upside down and put the saw backwards and then it's perfect every time. I don't get that, right? So, because things are easy, when something is easy like that for us, we tend to be dismissive of the value, and then we're like, oh, nobody's going to pay me for that. That's easy. That, that, that's not a career field. That's easy. Any, anybody can do that. And the truth is, not everybody can do that. You just happen to find one of the things that you're talented at. Right? And because we're talented at it, we tend to be dismissive. So, here are the first two steps, the first two keys to finding work that matters for you. One, something you love. Two, something you're good at. If you can find those two things, that generally that uh, will help you identify your passion, and that passion is half of finding work that matters. All right, so your homework yesterday. Jeremy is on this morning. Good morning, Jeremy. Yeah. Yeah, y yeah, uh, okay, coping, uh, whatever. <laughs> That's another one I can't do is the coping saw. All right, I tried that one too, like back cut on the, yeah. That, mm -mm. Anyway, Jeremy had a great answer for his homework yesterday. Yesterday the question was, what do, do, does the work that you do add value to the world? Uh, go back and read that in yesterday's video. He's got a good answer for that. Drop your answer in there if you are so brave and so motivated. Share that with the rest of the world. Today, I want you to start thinking about what are you really good at? The, the love part will come, right? The harder one for most people to identify is what are you really good at, right? So think about that today. That's your homework. Something that other people, and here's a good test, right? It's something that other people, when you do it, other people are like, wow, you did that? <coughs> or wow that's really fantastic don't don't be dismissive when people say wow you did a really great job that's a clue right to something that you are talented at that's going to lead you to finding your work that matters all right let's check a couple of comments here yeah coping putty and paint yeah i know it's it's uh it's caulk caulk and paint make my work look a lot better <laughs> especially especially in the corners all right all right so that's it for this morning thank you so much for joining me remember leave your name down in the comments if you're watching live or on the replay that lets me know that you were here and tells facebook that you're interested in tracking the conversation as it continues throughout the day in the comments coffee shop shows coming up at nine o'clock with uh, me and Eric, if you are in Huntsville and you'd like to come by Old Town Coffee and join us for a live cafe audience, that would be awesome. We'd love to have you there. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh man, see, this is what happens when your when your bride watches the show. She is good at taking care of me. I'll, I'll give her credit for that. She does a pretty good job. Hey Keith, good morning. Glad you were able to make it. Okay. All right. That's it for today. <laughs> I'm just checking the comments down there. I'll be in the comments. You leave one down there. See you on the coffee shop show in a couple of hours back here in the morning. Another installment of seven minutes in the morning. You guys take care.